Good morning, family, and may the peace of Christ continue to abide with you. My name is Prophetess Anne, and by the special grace of God, I want to share a little word concerning this slanderous remarks and ignorant talk that has been going around circulating the media about my mentor, Prophet TV Joshua of Blessed Memory, who trained me for 20 plus years, who mentored me, who taught me, who taught me the way of the Father the way of Jesus and how to live under the power of pure. This is a man I so much respect, I adore, and a man I have looked up to because I see the, the life of Christ in him, how much he cares for people, how much he loves family, and also for our mother in, in Christ, Mama Evelyn Joshua. You know, they have been good to us. There are no, there's no doubt about that. They, the church has been good to us. I mean, nobody will go to any theological school and you will not pay through your nose just to attend. But this is a man we live with free of charge. He never asked our families for any money. He never asked us for any money. And most of us came because we wanted to serve Jesus. Yes, nobody was forced there. Nobody was chained there. These people who are complaining on BBC or social media, or whatever you call it, I just see them as wicked and callous people, disgruntled people who have chosen to follow the path of the demons, who have chosen to follow the path of unrighteousness. All of them from A to Z are not without a bad record. They have their records. So I, I don't want to dwell on that, but I just want to encourage a lot of people who I see that their faith is failing. Some people will say, oh, prophet, prophetess Anne, I can't follow you again. We know who you are. Okay, don't follow me, but follow Jesus. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other reality outside Jesus. So people of God, first of all, let me encourage you. That, you know, the Bible tells us in that book of Matthew that the things that will cause men to stumble are bound to come. These are one of the things. But do not let your faith fail. Do not let your faith fail. A lot of things were said about Jesus. Look at in the Bible, it was recorded. Jesus used spittle to clear the eyes of a blind man, to, to make him receive his sight. If many of us were there in the time of Jesus, we would call him a witch doctor. But glory be to God, these are things that we know were prophetically done by him. Leave that aside. I just want to encourage you in the book of John 16, verse 33, that says that in this world we will have trouble. But there is a greater reason not to be because of the truth in the word of God. These same disgruntled people who are complaining today traveled with Prophet T.B. Joshua all over the world. Many of them organized meetings. Because they are only showing you the record of when the ministry was still very fresh. What of when they organized events in different countries, in UK, they, they went to represent the ministry. Why didn't they have that time to run away? Man of God blessed them with money, blessed their families, took care of us, fed us, clothed us. Where can you get that experience? Which theological school can you go to that will feed you, clothe you? You travel for holidays. For over those years, you were not tired. You were always traveling, representing the ministry in various forms. And you come out today to say that you were punished, you were beaten, you don't sleep, you were disciplined. Of course, discipline is very important. Anybody who wants to stand for Jesus, you must be disciplined. Not only in your mind, but physically, you must also be fit. For Jesus, I don't want to say too much. I just know that for me, I stand on the truth. And the truth is that our Father in the Lord, God used him to bless us. God used him to change our lives, which I am one of the beneficiaries of the university of God. God used him to anoint me. And today, Jesus is using me. If anybody tells me, okay, Prophet T.B. Joshua did this to you, taught you this, fetish things, but he's not here. The Holy Spirit is the one guiding me speaking to me, directing me. He has pointed the way to, of, of the cross to me and I have followed it and it's bringing results in the name of Jesus. 
He has taught me the word of God, the foundation of the throne of God, which is the living word. He has taught me how to live under the power of pure. He has taught me to have a closer walk with Jesus and many more. I just want to share a word for those who are still complaining or who are looking for faults. Looking for faults where there is no fault. I came out of that university. And by the special grace of God, the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ is using me for his glory. And not for the glory of man or anyone. So please, let us be weary of this kind of people. Family, let us be weary of them. They have come not only to destroy, it is not to destroy the name of T.B. Joshua, but to destroy the church. The church of God, the people of God. That is their target. That is their target. So let us be weary. The Bible tells us that we should be weary of these people. We should not be agitated, stressed, or thrown into confusion because of these people. Because the things that will cause us to stumble will come. But the Bible says, woe unto them that cause these little ones to stumble. So please be on the Lord's side. Stand on the Lord's side. And those of us who have received from the blessing, from the grace in the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua, for crying out loud, please come out and share your testimony of what God has done for you. Do not sit and keep quiet and you only expect the children of Prophet T.B. Joshua all over the world, the sons and daughters of love. Do not expect only them to speak. Please come out and let people know what God has done for you. Those of you that were healed of HIV, come out. You are everywhere all over the world those of you that were healed of disability inability to work please come out and share your testimony and let people know that god jesus christ healed you through this wonderful and caring man of god let us share the good things the lord has done for us because the devil is going about looking for whom to devour that is why they took their time to even send emails to a lot of evangelists to a lot of disciples asking them if they have any complaint why don't you ask me the good things the lord has used prophet tv joshua to do in my life but you are sending emails asking people by email what do they have to complain do they have any grunt do they have any 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 complaint about their, their time spent in the church of all nations i have no complaint jesus was good to me Man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, trained me through the university. I'm a graduate of philosophy. So, I can't have that experience all through those years. And I will come out and say, he was never good to me. No. No. Let us stand on the truth. And let us stand on the word of Jesus. Let us stand for Jesus. Stand on the Lord's side. Do not let the devil dis destroy what God has established. Because if they fight TB Joshua, they are fighting millions of him because we are all over the world. So you're not only fighting the blessed man of God. You are fighting a million TB Joshua's. A lot of people received anointing, impartation, even after he passed on to glory. Some of them never even stepped in the squad. So what are we saying here? And God is using them in mighty ways. I want to give a warning to these people. As the book of Acts says, Acts 5 verse 28, as the book of Acts 5 verse 28 says, leave these men alone. If their foundation is not of God, it will fail. But if the origin is from God, you cannot fight God. You will only find yourself fighting your destiny, fighting your families, destroying your future. Let us look at everything we see, examine all things. 
in the light of God's word. Examine everything you have heard in the light of God's word. Don't be, don't be stressed out, agitated, or thrown into confusion. Like some people, their faith has already failed. Please do not let your faith fail. Jesus is still Lord and he remains Lord from now till eternity, till his kingdom come, he will remain Lord. And lest I forget, remember Ghana 16th to 18th is for the greater glory in Christ Jesus. So when you come there, you will be able to judge for yourself to see whether Anything, any miracle will be staged or any prophetic message will be staged. God will take all the glory because all the glory is his in the first place. We are only enjoying the benefit of it. So people of God, be weary of these people. Examine all things in the light of God's word. The same people complaining have received so much blessings, so much blessings from the man of God. Their families have received so much blessings. Man of God took care of all of us, every one of us. He never allowed us to lack. Let them bring their passport and see how many countries they have traveled to while in the ministry. So you mean you're going about to spread the name of Jesus? was a lie. God cannot be mocked. God bless you.